The shooting of the police in Dallas is yet another tragedy in a long list of tragedies that America has recently suffered due to gun violence. Why is this happening now? Is it a lack of gun control? Is it overly lenient mental health law? Um, is it our society just becoming dehumanized? Uh, what is it? Well, okay, firstly, let me explain something. I'm a little bit biased when it comes to gun control because I was born in the city of New York where guns have been illegal since 1876 under the Sullivan Act. Having been mugged myself in my far-off youth in Manhattan, I know just how effective gun control can be. The criminals will get them, even if the Department of Justice isn't selling them at the time. Yeah. Uh, the problem with gun control laws, as we have them, is that they will leave the law-abiding populace unarmed, and the criminals will be armed regardless of what a bunch of old men in a, uh, in a legislature say. That's the first thing. Second thing, of course, I've always noted how many uh, prominent gun control people when their own houses have been burgled turn out to be armed to the teeth. That also isn't lost on me. But I also wonder how much of this is because of instant communication. I'll give you an example of what I mean. Um, I was uh, brought up at a time in this city, in, the, in beautiful Los Angeles, when we lost roughly a thousand people a year to gang violence. That's a lot of people. Yeah. You know, they go on about Black Lives Don't, uh, Black Lives Matter. Yeah, yeah we'll see. Apparently, gangbangers' lives don't, because you know they may have been gangsters, uh, but they were still people, and most of them were very young. The largest single cause of death among young black men today is young, of a young black man. Nobody's addressing this. Nobody cares. Certainly not the leadership of the black community. Certainly not the leadership of either political party. Uh, and of course, it isn't just the blacks. Uh, the Latinos, the Chinese, a lot of other areas, and Russians, Colombians, a lot of... It varies from place to place the exact ethnic makeup, but the fact is that the lives of gangbangers are not important to our lords in the media or politics. And you can say, well, they're gangbangers. Well, yeah, but they didn't start that way. The fact is that no one is willing to address the problem. We'll talk about gun control, we'll talk about this, we'll talk about that, but they won't zero in on this simmering, seething cauldron of violence. Because so long as it is contained in run-down, nasty neighborhoods where nice people who can afford $67,000 a plate dinners for the president wouldn't dream of going, it's all right. Doesn't matter. Let them eat each other up. So what you're seeing, where these things become known and noted, is when they happen in nicer neighborhoods, where this sort of thing isn't supposed to go on. You know. The other thing, too, I have to say about the, uh, the police violence issue. This past year, if, the, uh, if my statistics are correct, 10 whites died at the hands of police since January 1st. Eight blacks five Latinos in the entire nation. Uh, think of how many times when you read about someone getting killed by a cop, over half the time they reach for the holster. People do have to understand that when you reach for a cop's holster, you're begging to die. You don't do that. Now, it could be it's their fault. It could be that just like the McDonald's cops have hot on them now because people like aren't smart enough to realize that hot coffee is hot and can burn you. Similarly, probably every cop's holster should have a sign on it or maybe skull and crossbones for the illiterate. Don't touch, you'll die. So I mean the, you know, these are rather disparate things. I'm going sort of stream of consciousness on you. But they're also things that just aren't addressed. You notice in this is in so many other areas in public discourse in our country. It's like a show game. Your attention is always directed away. All right. Why do we not care 
about gang violence when it is the largest single cause of death, not just among young blacks, but among a lot of other people. Why do we find it shocking that someone reaches for a cop's holster and gets killed? Why do we find this a, a surprise? Why do, when, uh, when uh, law enforcement, for all of, its, uh, all of its faults, why are we surprised when uh, they stop patrolling areas of cities? We make them jump through hoops. We, uh, we jump up and down and scream at them. And then wonder that they don't do, uh, don't do a difficult job when it gets really difficult. You see, there are all these imponderables floating around that no one is going to touch. And it leaves the questions they do ask seeming sort of silly. Uh, to put this another way, it's a little bit as though uh, I saw you shooting, shooting up your house and asked why you hadn't paid your electric bill. I'm not saying that you shouldn't pay your electric bill. I am saying that probably your shooting pistols off is a little bit more important just at the moment. But our attention is constantly deflected.